They tell me to get out of my head. That I need to grow up. Face reality. But I had an idea. A penny for your thoughts. A penny for your thoughts, Mona. A penny for your thoughts? A penny for your thoughts. 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 We're gonna do something big, guys. A penny for your thoughts. When my mom said that, it got me thinking. You see, I have all these thoughts, all these ideas. They're constantly running through my head. There's so many that I can't even concentrate on geometry homework or focus when I'm trying to watch my favorite show, Guys in Suits. Shut up, I'm the best. So I stay up at night wondering how I could ever, 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 ever grow up. Face ever, 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 get out, get out ever, of your head. Get out of your head. Ever put these ideas to use. And then it hit me. Mom? Yes? I'm taking the bus today. Well, from now on, actually. But I always drop you at school on my way to work. And just think how much gas that little detour wastes. So you're an environmentalist now? But more save money. Oh, a businessman then. No, I just... Honestly... It's a lack of oat clusters in my honey bunches of oats. I take it as a bad omen. Fine. Just promise me this time you're not gonna start complaining when kids start drawing mushrooms all over the bus. Yeah. Bye, Mom. Bye. Bye, have a great day, Mom. Love you. All right, drive safe. Okay, yeah, I'll text you from the bus, all right? Let's do this. My plan was finally underway. But first, I had to find a location. Secret. Safe. Ooh. That works. Ah. Uh, that really works. Well, I had to make it presentable. Inviting. A an environment that lends itself to creativity. And clean. Next, it was time for me to assemble my board of chosen followers, or something like that. Yeah, I needed kids like me, those who saw the light beyond the darkness of the cave we call high school. You know, people who, who need a little push, who've got nothing to lose, who just need another chance. I needed dropouts. Penny for your thoughts? That's correct, Mark. <laughs> Why'd you just say my name so demonstratively just then? What? Um, never mind. Keep going. <clears throat> A penny for your thoughts. Yeah, I never gave this thing much thought. Go figure. But lately, it's resonated with me. How so? That's a great question, Ricky. <laughs> See what you mean. Yeah. When people have ideas, what happens to them? Sure, some turn into business deals, some turn into works of art, but what about the rest, right? I mean, where do those ideas all go? Sometimes good ideas just aren't appreciated. Hmm? See, good, I good ideas make money. Bad ideas, like this gathering you've assembled, they get shit on. And deservedly so, I mean, that's just the way it is. How nice of you to speak up. Chris, uh, why'd you bring up money? Well, that's why we're here, isn't it? All right, none of us have jobs. Uh, we don't go to school, no present income, no potential income. In other words, we're here to think of get-rich-quick schemes. I wouldn't put it exactly like that, but yes, I get it. A penny for your thoughts. Yeah, like we come up with a hundred ideas and then boom, we have three dollars. That's right. Yes. See, everyone's always talking about these revolutionary ideas that come to them. So, so rare, so special. But what if there were a group 
a team whose sole purpose was to come up with revolutionary ideas. I mean, wouldn't that be, well, revolutionary? <laughs> We're gonna do something big, guys. How about a big, I'm out of here? Hey, what's the matter? Feel like you're number two? Yeah. I know your story. I apologize for the upcoming exposition, but I had to put these guys in their place. I know your story. Class rank number two. So, you dropped out, hoping that a college essay about refusing to be second best would turn heads. Apparently, you turned them the other way, towards the number ones. Right? I'm really upset that you brought up my dark past. But I'm also confused as to how you got that information. Who knows what I could be doing during a montage of internet surfing. Cab one. Oh. <laughs> and don't think I've forgotten about you, Ricky. Dropped out, because you didn't fit in. Now you're a street rat monkey on your shoulder. Call me Genie. <laughs> <laughs> and you, Mark. How's that career of modeling suits going? Oh, or are you still banned from men's warehouse for life for peeing in your manager's porridge? Why was she even eating porridge? You know, they still owe me a year's supply of free suits, by the way. Look, we all have chips on our shoulders. Can mine be like the Doritos tacos at midnight? What a dumb name for a chip flavor. You know, as if the taste of the tacos had any correlation with the time of day. <laughs> Doritos. Look, they can be any flavor you want. That's the beauty of this place we've created. You've created. We don't have to be afraid of the real world. In here, we can be ourselves. Out there, people are gonna love us. We just need to give them a reason to. <laughs> Let us raise our invisible glasses. Einstein, Bill Gates, Colonel Sanders. All dropouts. Well, I prefer the term early exiters. Here's to following in their footsteps. <laughs> you guys think uh, Einstein had big feet? No, no. He was Jewish. And small feet mean oh. small toenails. Small toenails means small, small nail clippers. clippers. Nola? Huh? Uh, what are, you, uh, what are you doing here? What do you mean, what am I doing here? I'm here in this same spot every day, cooking your dinner. You'd be a horrible feminist. Why did you get home from school so late? Um, right. I, uh, I, I, I joined a club. A club? Which club? Hmm? Oh, uh, um, the, uh, the, f uh, phosphorus. I'm terrible at making names up on the spot. Uh, alumni? Really? Uh, the name doesn't matter. Uh, I'm not bored anymore. I'm getting involved. That's what counts. You know, my mom is telling me that you're up to something. Just kidding. See where you get your sense of humor? <laughs> no. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Alright, so we all brought in three ideas. Alright, preparedness. Chris? All in here. Cool. Um, Ricky, you want to do the honors of starting us off? Sure. I can just get this open. Tick tock. Take a kiss. Okay, here we go. Uh, I can't do it if you're all staring at me. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. sorry. So. Okay. <laughs> uh, y you know when you can't even read your own handwriting? I uh, see that. There's nothing even written here. What? <laughs> you did a comic! How do you know it's not my idea? Well, uh -huh. Oh, okay, okay. Let me see, let me see. That's a start. Uh, what's the premise? Eight and a half by eleven. What's the comic about? <clears throat> Alright, so there's this rhinoceros, okay? Uh, okay. Yeah. And he's a brain-eating alien by day, and a pediatrician by night. Right, and the status quo is interrupted when okay, he's in the Chris, Chris your ideas? Thing. Well, assuming that the comic strip really was Mark's idea, and not some last-ditch effort to bullshit an idea after he forgot to think of one, 
he was on the right track. If we're going to uh, think of get rich quick schemes, we might as well go into a winner take all market. The arts. I get it. That's smart. It gives us a lot of options. Right. You know, music, books, movies. Want to make a movie? I don't know. That's stupid. Um, but it's easy. We could just reboot a film five minutes after the original's released. Uh, I don't know. How about uh, how about music? Does anyone play an instrument? Oh. Okay. I found this under the table. It's so cool. Look, forget about the instruments, all right? We'll auto-tune our voices and we'll write about, you know, money and girls who dance for money. Or we could talk about how your group of friends is better than anyone else's group of friends. Or you could be a weird girl. I'd rather not do any of those things. Well, we can make, like, one of those YouTube videos of, of a K-pop song. Oh, I love them. You mean the one that goes, Uchi, Uchi. Oh, I love that song. Uchi, Uchi, Guys, guys, no. We can't do that. <laughs> Everyone does that, and it won't make us a profit. Well, I mean, if it goes viral, though, it'll make us popular, which is a good launching pad for making money. Uh, I don't know. I just really don't want to stoop that low. Can we agree to make that our backup plan? Yeah, sure. <clears throat> All right. So, a book, then. Not a novelization of your comic strip. A non-fiction book. Like a manual. The Rhino works. Well, who's good at something weird? I'm good at computer games. Yeah, no, that's great. I bet one of those World of Warcraft type field guide things would be really popular. No, I don't play like those popular games. Wait, what do you play? Roller Coaster Tycoon. Oh my god, everyone's good at Roller Coaster Tycoon. I beat it 12 times! Wait, what? What are you saying? You can't beat Roller Coaster Tycoon. Uh, I think I would know. I beat it 12 uh, you know, times. No, no, no. You're right. The owner of Six Flags woke up one day with a letter in the mail saying, Ha! You won! Alright, other book options. Um, relationship help? Do any of us have girlfriends? Then that makes no sense. Baby names. Whoa, what, what authority do we have in that department? I don't know, I always wanted to name my daughter Jasmine with like three Z's and an F. Okay, and do you want to live in a trailer park as well? Okay, huh? okay, all right. Team, is there anything that we're good at? Come on. <laughs> I'm coming up with bad ideas. <laughs> That's it. Uh, I was kidding, Nolan. You, what are you doing? Know that, right? Nolan? That's my comic. This is perfect. What are you talking about? <laughs> We're gonna make a book of bad ideas. Is what you just said gonna be in it? No. Because this is a good idea. It'll save people the trouble of doing what we're doing right now. And plus, it'll be funny. I mean, it'll be like one of those bathroom reader toilet humor things. People love those. You're serious. We're gonna be rich. Let's break out in a song. <laughs> I got money in the car. Money in the car. I got money in the car. Okay, whoa, wait. Uh, none of us are singing the same song. We're not? Really? I thought we were harmonizing. <laughs> Let's get to work. I've kicked off my shoes yet I still run out the door Treading over the rocks that leave my feet cut and sore, yeah Okay, I'm hitting the ground and I'm running Got my eyes wide and they frontin' Man, it's nothing, always got a bag of hate To feel my sore skin and dabs of fate Sticking around is a positive trait Hitting the gas to the ones who say wait They say they go get it but missing their date Yes, it is. We made that. <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> we are such a good team. <laughs> we need a team name. Yes, the Avengers. The Expendables. The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. 
or we can get a fifth team member, start cooking fries and burgers and peanut oil, yeah, and we can call ourselves Five Unicorn Guys. City. What? What? Jeez, no wonder we made this book. <laughs> Besides, our team name comes later. First, I'll let you know when the publisher that I've been in contact with agrees to a deal. Oh, All right. Sweet. <laughs> See you guys. Right. No, good work, team. Same time, same place tomorrow? Oh, you already know. But if this works... When it works, why would we need to come back? Um, I guess we'll decide that when it gets here. Uh, but for now, we, uh, we meet tomorrow. Publisher? Um, please be good news. Please be good news. Hello? Morning. Oh. Dude, did you get wasted last night or something? Stone? Um, not enough sleep? That one. <laughs> Why was that our third guess? You, you hear from the publisher? Uh, no, not yet. That's what I should have said. You hear from the publisher? Uh, uh, I just poop my pants. Uh, please excuse me while I go clean myself up. Oh God, it's so embarrassing. What was that all about? He's hiding something. Naiga Baki Kalyoga. You think that's it? What? Oh no, I was just reading the Uchi Uchi Ai Ai lyric sheet. It was in uh, Nolan's jacket pocket. <laughs> Why would he bring that? That's her backup. <sighs> okay, okay, just, just tell them the truth, right? I mean, it's not the end of the world, and anyway, honesty is the best policy, right? I'm Team Mustang. The phosphorus. Uh, I just poop my pants. Okay, whatever, just, just tell them the truth. What the hell is this? I was gonna tell you guys. When? When you were done wasting more of our time? We didn't waste time. We thought of an idea, it was rejected. Now, we move on and we come up with something else. Get your shit together, man, and I'm not talking about that pooping your pants excuse. <laughs> wow, Chris, you really need to learn how to deal with adversity. I mean, giving up every time the going gets tough? Oh, shut up! We're all like that. That's why we're dropouts. Uh, early exiters. It's not that we're not persevering, it's that none of us are good at anything. That's why we're in this position. No, it's thinking like that that puts you in that position. Now I get it. I don't. Yeah, we're not in this. You keep us around to make sure you're not the only one who's insane. <laughs> what? Yeah, you used us to support your ridiculous ideas because you knew people as dumb as us would. That's not true. These aren't board meetings at all, man. These are therapy sessions. I hope you can get out of your head one day, Nolan, and join the rest of us in reality. But, well, Mark, come on, don't go. He's right, Nolan. I mean, you're just giving us false hope, and it just makes failing hurt even more. See ya. <laughs> oh, Ricky. Sorry.
That's good. Thanks. I hope it tastes good too. Mm. That's the question. How's phosphorus club? Uh, uh, oh, and how convenient that after school meetings are held in the forgotten half of our basement. What? They are after school, aren't they? The school called. I thought I would be able to tell you before the school did. Me too. Well, you can save the lecture, trust me. I'm done being a high school dropout. Short lived. Guess I just finally figured it out. Figure it out? Yeah. You know, like life, everything. I don't know. Really? Go on. Like you. You're happy. <laughs> You have a, a house, a kid, a, a job, and maybe your job's not the most exciting thing in the world, but that's okay because that doesn't really matter to you. You know, you, you take refuge in the little things like watching the romantic comedy channel at nine or, or painting your toenails every Sunday. This. And my whole life, for some reason, I've always tried to find happiness in, in every single moment. But that's where I went wrong. <laughs> because that's not realistic. Uh, ha happiness and having fun comes from those teeny tiny precious things. Not the big things. And, and now I know, now I finally know that I have to accept that because that's the truth. That's a uh, growing up. That's that's reality. That's reality. Mhm. Mm Whisper's club wrote a book. And me and my board of formidable dropouts. Yes. You never did anything creative like this in school. Yeah, well, school will prepare me for the real world. That's what I need to get out of here. You're right about me, Nolan. I do take refuge in the small things, and that's enough for me. That's actually enough for a lot of people. But that doesn't mean it has to be enough for you. What you have in here is something that nobody else has which gives you the option to do what nobody else has done. Never figure it out, ever. There you go. Ricky? Ricky Huxpin? My God, is that you? Mark? From the old board meetings. I thought I'd never see you again. How have you been since the old band broke up? <laughs> Horrible. Yeah, I mean, it has been a rough 24 hours. Is there any way we can get everyone back together? I doubt it. I mean, unless... Unless what? Sorry, um, just staring into space. What could we do? Hey, what time is the new guys in suits tonight? 10 o'clock. That's it. A reboot of the Spider-Man reboot? No. no. Where are we going? You'll see next time it cuts back to us. Hi, I'm uh, calling about the open position. No, no, no college degree. No, no high school diploma. But I've, I've done... Hello? I like money. I like hoes. Okay, lyrics are done. Now we just need a beat. Wait, but aren't you banned for life? Yeah, but they still owe me your supply of suits.
the team. Oh, hey. I hope you don't mind. I let your friends in from the front door. Ricky, Mark. He still says our names like that. I like the new look. We hope you'd say that. <laughs> Guys, this is great, but we can't. Not without Chris. I'll come back on one condition. What the hell is our team name? We're the board. So. They tell me to get out of my head. But I had a revolutionary idea. Instead of getting out of my head, I brought everyone else into it. Oh, <laughs> 